Welcome to Artec. Today we're gonna to go over how to properly connect your wake speed alternator regulator to both the Victron system and the Garmin core system. So if you notice on the wake speed, there are two CAN bus ports. One CAN bus port will be used to communicate to the Victron components in the Victron system, and the other CAN bus port will be used to communicate to the Garmin system through the RBC multi-tap. So for this first CAN bus port, we will be connecting it to the Servo MK2. So if you notice on the Servo MK2, there are two VE CAN channels. VE CAN 1, which is an isolated CAN channel, and VE CAN 2, which is a non-isolated CAN channel. So to connect the wake speed to the Servo, we're gonna use a UTP crossover cable. The UTP crossover cable has a different color connector on each end. We have a black connector that'll connect to the wake speed, and we have a blue connector that'll connect to the Servo. So we'll plug the black connector into one of the two CAN bus ports, on the wake speed, and then on the servo side, we'll connect the blue connector into VE CAN channel two. If your system is only connecting the wake speed WS500 to a Victron system through the servo, then this other CAN bus port needs to be terminated. And if you purchase a wake speed kit through us, we'll provide a terminator and we plug that into that second CAN bus port. If you're connecting the wake speed WS500 to the servo MK2 and in that VE CAN channel two, you only have the wake speed going into it, which is not usually the case because you're usually using that second port for a BMS or a solar charge controller. You would use a provided Victron terminator and that would just go in the second port in VE CAN channel two. When integrating the wake speed in the Garmin core system, We'll use the second CAN bus port on the wake speed. It will connect to the RVC network using an adapted RJ45 cable that'll have a four pin male connector at the end of it. To make this cable, we will take that standard RJ45 Victron cable with the connecting end cut off. We will strip about two inches of the insulation off of the cable. And inside you'll notice four pairs of twisted cable. We have orange and white, green and white, blue and white, and brown and white. For the purposes of this cable, we will only utilize the orange and white pair, so we can cut off the other three pairs. And we can untwist this cable. This pair of cables represents can high and can low. You have the white with orange stripe being can high and the solid orange being can low. We'll straighten these cables out. When inserting the can high and can low cables into the four pin mail connector, you'll notice four slots in the connector. We're gonna be using the two middle ones. For the can high cable, the white one, we're gonna insert it in the slot closest to the release tab and the can low will go into the slot next to it. I'm gonna take a pair of pliers, close the clamp, creating the cable. After you make your cable, we're gonna take the RJ45 connector side and we're gonna plug that into the CAN bus port that is open on the wake speed. And we'll take the four pin connector and plug that into the RVC multi-tap. And with this, the wake speed can now properly communicate through RVC to the Garmin system. Thanks for watching this video where we do an overview of how to connect the wake speed WS500 to the Victron system and to the RVC network. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team. And as always, there'll be links in the description below.